All right, folks, we're going to get started with powering the printer up. After it's powered up, we're going to go ahead and preheat it. So as you go over to the next one, preheat, select, then go over to start preheat. So preheating the printer is actually going to make the nozzle easier to remove. It's already going to be a tough uh, move. It's, it's locked in here pretty tight. All right. So you're going to need a wrench or a socket wrench. I'm using a seven millimeter socket right here. And then you're going to need either a crescent wrench or something that you, that's adjustable that you can grip the hot end with. All right. For moving because this thing is on super tight. So let's jump into it. Now we're going to have to remove the fan while it's on. It'll give you time to power it off so it can stay warm for a while while you remove it. Or you can short circuit it because there's wires that are exposed for the heating that will spark if you try to do this without powering it off because it will spin on you. That's what the wrench is for. So let's get, there's a clip on each side of the fan. You gotta get both of those clips removed. And you gotta try to spin the printer without crushing the cord. So I'm gonna turn this on this side to get the other one out. Now that the fan is removed, we're gonna go ahead and unplug the printer. And this should give you enough working time. Also, I forgot, the Allen wrench, you're gonna need this. So you're gonna unscrew the bottom screw right here, just slightly, just enough to loosen it for it to drop down. All right, there it is. So these cables, if you look up here a little bit, these two red cables and these two white cables, you're gonna pull them down through the sleeve just a little bit just down just a notch that'll give you enough to push this portion down you can do that with your wrench this little bit can fall out it's hot so be careful the bit that holds it in if you don't screw it too much like I did if you don't sometimes it'll stay in there keep it on the side there a little bit makes it a little easier so there's wires on the side of it that heat it up you don't want to hit those you want to go to the two sides that have nothing coming out of them. And that's where you're gonna put your crescent wrench or monkey wrench or whatever you have on hand to grip it for you. So I'm gonna spin it slightly, just enough, so I can get this on here, but still leave enough room for me to get in there. So I wanna pry this down just a notch so that it's inside the wrench. And I'll give you guys a shot of that once I get this tightened. Okay, now that we have the wrench on there, I wanna just use the battery pack to support it up some. Then I'm gonna grab the wrench again. We're gonna slip the socket. Make sure it fits for sure. Always like to do a double check. Put it on there. All right, so now that it's on there, we're gonna give it a real tight grip and then crack it loose. So hold your wrench, monkey wrench, crash on whatever you have. And now we're gonna crack it loose. There it is. Now that it's loose, I'm just gonna pull the wrench out and screw this freely. It's out. Still be careful because mine was still pretty warm. Now I'm going to install the new one. Let's place it back inside of the socket. I'm going to screw it in by hand first. Okay. Now I'm going to get the wrench and kind of finish it off, making it tighter. Don't go too crazy with tightening it, but tight enough. I can tell you how much, but don't tighten it so much where it feels like something's gonna snap, you know? I know that's kind of like your instinct to go to and tighten stuff is to tighten it to your maximum strength, but if that was the case, the variables would be all over the place. Everybody has their own maximum strength, you know? So, I guess I'm straining to make sense. I can't even tell you how many turns. All right, now, all you're gonna do is slip this back into the hole. Just turn this to the side. And we're gonna get everything back assembled. All right, now we have the bit back in. We tighten it, let's put the fan back on. All right, folks, that's it. That's how you change your nozzle on your Monoprice Mini Delta. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.